Now, a blog called True Pundit uh, says that they have a source that was at a um, State Department meeting. I'm going to read you what they said. Now, I don't know much about True Pundit. I I'm not vouching for them as a blog. But in fact, I wouldn't even read this to you, except for the fact that the Clinton team has not denied it. And I'm going to show you their non denials after I read you what apparently happened at the State Department when Hillary Clinton was there. They explained Clinton's State Department was getting pressure from President Obama and his White House inner circle, as well as heads of state internationally, to try and cut off Assange's delivery of the cables. And if that effort failed, then to forge a strategy to minimize the administration's public embarrassment over the contents of the cables. Hence, Clinton's early morning November meeting of state's top brass, who floated various proposals to stop, slow, or spend the WikiLeaks contamination. That is when a frustrated Clinton sources said, at some point, blurted out a controversial query: "Can't we just drone this guy, Clinton?" openly inquired, offering a simple remedy to silence Assange and smother WikiLeaks via planned military drone strike, according to State Department sources. The statement drew laughter from the room, which quickly died off when the secretary kept talking in a terse manner, sources said. Clinton said Assange, after all, was a relatively soft target, quote, walking around freely, thumbing his nose without any fear of reprisals from the United States. Clinton was upset about Assange's previous 2010 records releases, divulging secret U.S. documents about the war in Afghanistan in July and the war in Iraq just a month earlier in October, sources said. At that time in 2010, Assange was relatively free and not living cloistered in the embassy of Ecuador in London. I, I don't know to what degree she was kidding. I hope to God she was kidding. Um, but there's a couple of things here that makes these more likely to be true. Now they have sources, but people make up sources. If it was a Trump campaign, I wouldn't pay it any mind at all, but this was well before uh, that really got cooked up. Uh, and then they claim right there that she might have been kidding, and in fact that the room laughed. That's what the source says. Now, if they just wanted to uh, paint all of them in a negative light, they would have said, no, nobody laughed, they meant it seriously, etc. And it gives them a little bit more credibility that they said that. Second piece of credibility is there is a leaked email with this headline, Amory Slaughter from State Writing to Huma Abedin and other Cheryl Mills, all sorts of Hillary Clinton staffers. And the subject line is an SP memo on possible legal and non legal strategies regarding WikiLeaks. Now, they did not get the email where they outlined illegal strategies against WikiLeaks. Boy, I'm sure they'd love to get that email. So, but it does make you wonder what those illegal strategies are. Were they really considering a drone strike? Was she joking? We don't know. Well, they asked uh, Robbie Mook, her campaign manager. Let's go to his answer. Can you respond to that? Do you think that was said in jest? Is it untrue? Well, how are you taking that? I, you know, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm reticent to comment on anything uh, that the WikiLeaks people have said. They've, they've made a lot of uh, accusations in the past. You know, Donald Trump uh, and his allies are trying to do everything they can to, to change the debate here right now. Hmm. That was a non-denial if I've ever seen one. I'm hesitant to respond, uh, and I'd like to divert your attention with a pivot. In other words, that might be true. Look, understand the context, and if you don't cover politics every day like I do, you might not get it. If that wasn't true, they'd come out and breathe fire. They'd be like, it's outrageous, it's scandalous, it's preposterous, there's no way that it's true. But he didn't say any of that. He said, well, I don't know, I didn't get a chance to look into it. Really, you didn't get a chance to look into whether Hillary Clinton even joked that they might drone strike and assassinate Julian Assange? If I was her campaign manager, I'd have looked into it. Then at one point, Hillary Clinton got asked about it. Listen to her non-denial. Did you ever joke about droning Assange? Well, I, I, I don't know anything about what he's talking about, and uh, I don't recall any joke. Um, it would have been a joke if it uh, had been said, but I don't recall that. Oh, she said it. <laughs> okay. I don't recall is a classic. If you catch me later on tape, I was going to say I didn't remember. I guess I said it. She remembers. If it had happened, then it would have been a joke. Oh, my God, she said it. <laughs> if she didn't say it, you think she sits there and goes, oh, no way. She would be like, that's, out that's the most outrageous thing I've ever heard. Of course, that's not true. They yell at reporters all the time. They do it in public, they do it behind the scenes. So how, don't you run that. You'll embarrass yourself. How dare you? Don't be a fool. Don't run that. This comes out, they're like, well, you see, if it had happened, even in jest, that is very dangerous talk. 
So I'm scared about what Donald Trump might do to the press. There's very legitimate concerns there. But I'm also very concerned about what Hillary Clinton is going to do to the press that's challenging them while the rest of the press applauds.